Hello again. I was reading um, a post uh, the other day and this lady was saying that no matter how she folded her um, card bases, they never quite met properly. It wasn't absolutely square. And so I just thought I'd do a very quick video with a, a few small points that I think may well help. Now, I always cut card bases from sheets of A4 like this. And I use a guillotine, which gives a good straight cut without deviation. Unless you don't follow all the rules. Okay, first rule is make sure that the card that you're putting into the guillotine is right up against the ruler edge at the top. Now on mine, I don't know if you can see this, I'll just pull it back for a moment. I've got a few Sharpie marks here and there and those are places that I know I need for certain size cards. So I'm going to be doing um, half of this sheet of A4 for a tent fold card. So that mark there is where I'm going to have my card up to. So into the guillotine, up to that mark. Now the first important thing is to make sure that the card is absolutely flush all the way along with that ruler. The second important thing is these two things here are there for a purpose. They're there to keep the card absolutely flat to the base of the guillotine. So you put your thumb on one and your finger on the other and you make sure that they stay there, keeping that card absolutely flat. And then the card. OK, the next thing is to fold this accurately. So I'm just going to lift my trimmer out of the way and get a scoring board. Now, this is my Score Easy from Vazen. And once more, I've done the business with a, um, a Sharpie just for ease of you know, my eyes to see where I want to score. Um, this one is uh, 10 and a half centimetres. This one is half of the length of a sheet of A4. And a sheet of A4 is just under... 30 centimetres. So I'm putting my card down with the, the right side of the card facing up. I'm going to score into the right side. Okay. Now here the important thing is keeping this edge against this ruler on this side here. So holding it down, making sure that that stays absolutely flush, bone folder into the groove and down we go. Now this bone folder is a Teflon one. Um, I don't know if it's the right, <laughs> the right one for the job I'm using it for, but it works for me. Um, and it feels beautiful. It doesn't seem to wear down and get ridges in like um, plastic ones do. So that's what the, my, my bone folder is. Next thing is pick up the card again against the side, fingers near to the fold and fold it over. Now this is the important bit. If you want to, you can use the corner there, but I always just look at a corner here to make sure that the bottom one is absolutely on top of, underneath, should I say, the top one. Now, there's still a bit of, you know, bounce in this here. So making sure, again, both sides are level, up, butted up against this ruler. Use your bone folder and I think the word is burnish it. So there we go. And we've got a perfectly matched folded card. OK, so every time, make sure right against the rulers all the way along. Hold it down when you trim it. Score on the right side and make sure the corners are together before you burnish it with your bone folder. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Thanks so much for watching.